Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 28th, 2016. Why are the governments around the world preparing for Planet X and you are not? I've had a lot of emails over the last few weeks asking, how can I prepare for Planet X? Nibiru. But before we start touching on that subject, I just want to show to you and I want to prove to you that the governments of this world have been preparing for this for 30 years. And then you have these people out there that tell you Planet X Nibiru doesn't exist because they can't see it with a telescope. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just let me inform you of this. The governments of this world, specifically the United States government, has the technology to cloak this planet in space using very highly sophisticated lasers. And if you think that I'm joking, research it yourself. I'm going to be coming out with a video shortly, either later on this evening or tomorrow morning, proving to you that this technology does exist and the United States government has completed this technology and they are using it to cloak Planet X Nibiru in space. So when all of these professional astronomers and quote am amateur astronomers say, oh, well, if we can't see it with our telescope, it doesn't exist. Well, of course you can't see it. This technology and this information has just been brought to me a few days ago. What we are possibly seeing in the skies, maybe they're holograms, maybe they're other planetary bodies that are in the sky, maybe they're light anomalies, I don't know exactly. But what I can tell you exactly is that these governments have been preparing for this for 30 plus years. So why in the hell aren't we preparing for it? Are we going to sit there and allow other individuals to spread this information because that's what they're paid to do? They're going to tell us because you can't see it with your hot shot telescope that it doesn't exist. Well, it exists. The government is cloaking it. They're using their technology to hide it because they don't want the entire world populations freaking out and taking over. So let's get right into this. These tunnels, these operations, these underground bunkers, the systems of tunnels through the United States alone, they are proven, folks. They go from the East Coast to the West Coast. Their main bunker is under the Denver International Airport right outside of uh, Denver, Colorado. Okay, they've been building that for 30 years with our tax money, our tax money, our money, not theirs, ours. Will we get the golden opportunity to go in there during this cataclysmic event? No, we will not. And we're going to sit back and let the naysayers tell us that there's no such thing. There is plenty of evidence out there, and we're going to go ahead and keep on getting into it. I want you to listen to uh, this this uh, insider on what he has to say. Listen up. Back in the 1950s, most people aren't aware of it, but there was a scientific storm in America all through the late 50s about this thing out there in space because the astronomers were all watching it, and that was back when they weren't afraid to talk about it. It was in the science magazines. I mean, I had a subscription to, like, Popular Science and Help. It was on the front cover of the magazine one day in, like, 1961. And uh, I was really excited when I saw it because here's this giant red planet on the horizon uh, of the California coast and a humongous tidal wave coming in towards the coast and having grew up in the mountains of uh, the Sierras and this thing in the magazine, it said this tidal wave coming in was going to be at least three miles high. And I See, folks, they were publicizing this in newspapers and on the covers of magazines. The government wasn't that smart back then. They didn't realize what they were going to be up against today. 
And then the cover-up began. And it still continues today. Open up your eyes. Don't listen to the disinformationalists feeding you a line of crap. The debunkers. They're going to get you killed. They're going to cause you not to be prepared. I'm prepared. I'm prepared to the best of my knowledge. I've done my homework. I've prepared my own bunker. The elite of this world, the billionaires, the millionaires that want to live, they've built highly sophisticated underground bunkers. Why? Why would Bill Gates do this? Why would people like him with billions of dollars do something like this? What, you think the threat of nuclear war? There's not going to be a nuclear war. Nuclear war ends civilization as we know it. Let's get into a little bit more of this. Went and showed it to everybody in the house, and they laughed, and they said, Look, it says right here, there's nothing to worry about. It won't be here for another 50 years. Hey, guess what? That 50 years has came and gone. Did you hear that, folks? That 50 years has came and gone, and it has brought us right here to the present. So, yes, it is time to prepare. We're going to get into all of that over the next couple of days. I've been very busy working on some other things that I want to expose. But, yes, we will be getting into pre uh, preparedness. We will have some time. But you have to take it seriously, and you have to spread the word. You can't just sit here and watch YouTube videos. Learn the information from the videos because there's a wealth of information here. But take action. And for the people that tell you that you are nuts, smile in their face, walk away, and continue to prepare because that means that you are going to have a greater chance to live than they are. Now, let's move on a little bit here. Dumbs, deep underground military bases. Hey, people here in the United States, there's where your tax dollars are going, baby. Right there. Boom. They're spending all of the money underground and these are beautiful, beautiful quarters. I mean, they are laid out. Roadway systems, health spas. They have uh, the means to grow vegetables. And, oh, they have medical facilities. They even have tennis courts and racquetball courts and swimming pools and water purification systems. Yeah. So they can live and we can die. Let's just take a look. Let's take a look at this video. This video was very well done. This was all inside information. These photographs were not supposed to be out. These were supposed to be secret bunkers. Look at the size of the drilling machines. Massive, specially built for the government for these projects. And if you think for one minute that you are gonna have the opportunity to go in one of these beautiful bunkers, the common man and woman and child? I don't think so. You better open up your eyes. You better stop believing to the debunkers and the people who spread and spew the garbage out of their mouth. And they don't want you to believe in this. But why would the governments spend 30 years to dig underground? Why would they spend our money producing these dumbs? these deep underground military bases. They're everywhere. All throughout the Midwest part of the United States, the safest place to be during this cataclysmic event, so they say. Naturally, you don't want to be near the shore because of the, the tsunamis, tidal waves, and flooding. Why did they move the CIA and the FBI and all the continuity of government to Denver. Can anybody answer me that question? The FBI has been in Quantico and, and the CIA and all of these other government organizations. Why are they now out in the West at the base of the Rocky Mountains? Could someone explain that to me? Was the rent too high in Washington, D.C.? No. They know what's coming, and they're not going to tell you. And if they do tell you, you're going to have maybe less than 30 days to figure it out. 
form a game plan and try to save your life and your family's life. So don't be stupid. Don't listen to the disinformationalists. They spent our money making these underground facilities for themselves, not for us. But they have everything. They have everything they need in these deep underground military bases. They even have top surgeons and medical facilities because they think that they're going to survive all of these cataclysmic events that are going to begin during Nibiru's exodus. And they think that they are going to walk out from the base of this mountain deep underground to a sunshiny day. And then they're going to take over all of mankind that had made it, that had survived. Then they're going to institute the new world order. But I'll tell you this much, folks. Those deep underground military bases are going to be their coffins because the magnitude of earthquakes is going to be very substantial. And if you want to be under a mountain during magnitude 9, 10, 11, or 12 earthquakes, well, you know what? You go ahead and take your chance on that. But like I said, over the next course of next four or five days, I'm going to be putting together videos showing you how to get prepared, what you need on hand to be prepared, because this is a very serious matter. The more intel that I have coming in, the more and more it's telling me that the time is limited and it's time to get prepared. Knowledge is power. I'm not fear-mongering, I'm giving you facts. The governments are prepared to go underground and leave us to die. And if you don't believe me, start doing your own investigations. I will put the links to this information in the description box under this video, and I want you to start investigating yourself. Listen, even Walmart is involved in this. Walmart has been involved in this for the past 20 years. There are underground facilities under select Walmarts. They are turning Walmarts that have been closed down for plumbing issues, they're turning them into FEMA concentration camps. They're going to lead you there because they're going to tell you, come to us, we'll give you food, water, and shelter, and then you're gonna be placed in a concentration camp. It's time for us to stand up and fight and band together as man and woman and yes our young children will probably have to fight right next to us because that's what's going to happen and I am warning you and you need to spread this word you need to get this information out you need to make other people a believer don't believe the debunkers because I'll tell you this much folks the ones that are sitting out there debunking these videos, they're going to be the first ones to bite the bullet. The government's going to turn their back on them in a split second. You know why? Because they use them just like they used our money to build these bunkers and save their lives. Well, guess what? Those bunkers, that's going to be their tomb. That is going to be their coffin. And it's a shame that all of us worked all of these years for our tax dollars to go to saving the elite so they can walk out of there and form the new world order and take over the earth. Well, it's not going to happen on my watch. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. We'd also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.